World War I was a difficult time for the United States. The demand for food and other products was immense. And with the absence of men to work the fields, women had to step up and fill in these positions to help in support of the war, their husbands, and their family. It was a liberating time for women and ultimately changed the dynamic of women's status in society and significantly strengthened the suffrage movement. The first soldiers of World War I left in November of 1914 and continued to be drafted or volunteer through 1918, leaving the women at home to account for their absence. And hey, how far along are you? Well, I'm like seven months along. I'm just really hoping my husband can get back in time. Wow, me too. That's really soon. My husband went out uh, a couple months ago. It's been really hard just staying here and wondering how he's doing, but you know, it's the best we can do is mm -hmm. just the war's events now. I don't know. I don't know if it's looking too good. Yeah. yeah. I, I pray to God that they just come back safe. With the men fighting halfway across the world, the women tried to figure out what they could do to help. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, Kathy. How are you doing? I've been all right. I mean, I've just been feeling useless ever since, you know, John left and all our husbands left from the war. Yeah, me too. But guess what I just found out? What? Martha! Guess what, what I just found out? What is it, Kathy? We can help in the war. Oh my gosh. We can is... manufacture goods. We can sew clothing for our husbands. We can finally help. That is amazing. Let's, let's go. Let's okay, go. okay. Let's tell the others. Yes. With the men gone at war, it left a detrimental gap in society, and housewives had a great deal of tasks to take on. Normal ones around the house, along with tedious ones out on the farm, making sure it was running smoothly to keep their family fed, as well as producing food in the war effort. Many farms contributed food and livestock production, as well as providing horses as a way of travel and transportation of weaponry and resources. Making clothing was another job women were tasked with, as they had to make money somehow without their husbands, and they also made clothes for soldiers at war. Clothing was very much needed, as there was always a shortage of clean, dry fabric, which would help maintain body temperature, keep the soldiers dry, and prevent trench foot. Farms prospered economically, as there was a high demand for food and women helped produce it as well as tend to livestock animals and tend to the farm. They kept themselves quite busy until their husbands returned home. But some families weren't so lucky. Dear Anne, we regret to inform you that your husband, Joseph Ford, has died in battle. We will continue to fight and honor his legacy. He was a brave soldier and very important to our army. We are so sorry for your loss, the United States Army. difficult time and everybody witnessed its effects in one way or another. Everybody had a role to play in that war, whether it be fighting on the front lines or producing resources in support of the soldiers. Anything could help and that's what many of these women were trying to do. Not only did their contribution to the war help establish a more active role in society, but it helped contribute towards the suffrage movement for years to come. 